Let's start our weekend off with some creativity. I'm Molly Pope, and this is Studio Saturdays. And to celebrate Black History Month, we'll be creating some soundsuit inspired cups by Nick Cave. For today's project, you'll need two sheets of white paper, some colored pencils or crayons, scissors, a ruler, a pencil, glue, two sets of Velcro dots, and eight to 12 jingle bells with loop tops. But before we get started, let's take a closer look at our featured artwork from the collection. Nick Cave is an interdisciplinary artist whose performance works include costume design, sound, and dance. Interdisciplinary artists are artists who create works in multiple areas of art. For instance, an artist who makes paintings and short films would be called interdisciplinary. Nick Cave is most known for his sound suits. These are large, detailed costumes he creates using fabric, sequins, beads, buttons, raffia, a material like straw, and other found objects like small sculptures and toys. Because of the variety of materials, the sound suits make different sounds when they move. The suits are displayed as sculptures or worn in Cave's performance art pieces. For his performances, Nick Cave, plus a group of dancers, will put on the sound suits and do practiced dances in public places, encouraging people to watch and even participate. The large, decorated costumes completely hide the person underneath when worn. The artist wants audience members, like you and me, to watch the dance without judging any of the performers based on the color of their skin, if they're a boy or a girl, how nice their clothing might be, or any other element of their physical appearance. His work, Drive-By, is a recorded performance that can be watched on a TV, tablet, or computer anytime, so you too can see the anonymous sound suit dancers express themselves and make noise freely without fear of judgment. For today's project, we'll be making jingle wrist cuffs inspired by Nick Cave's sound suit structures, using paper and jingle bells. In his artwork, Cave often uses recycled materials that had been previously thrown away, so you can use plain paper or think creatively about how to use recycled paper instead. We will decorate our cuffs with bright and cheerful patterns, adding as many jingle bells as we can so that, when we wear them, we can dance along to the music they make. As you prepare to start your project, consider the following questions. What colors and shapes will you use in your pattern design? Why? In Nick Cave's video, the sound suits dance to a really upbeat song. To what melody would your sound suit dance? What would be your song's mood? Using a sheet of paper and a ruler, Draw three marks, each one two and a half inches apart, on the shortest side of your paper. Use your markings as guides to draw three vertical lines down the longest part of your sheet of paper, using a ruler to help you create straight lines. Repeat these steps on your second sheet of paper. Cut both sheets along the lines drawn. You should have two sets of paper strips each with one small strip and three large strips of paper per cuff. Now it is time to create your design. Try to fill all the space on the paper strips. You can even create a continuous design like I am doing in this video. Repeat your pattern on all the strips, making sure they go well together. You can choose to make each cuff a different design, or make them match like I am. Use colored pencils to complete the design and bring it to life.
Flip the paper strips over and on the blank side, draw a mark a quarter inch from the top edge on both ends of the paper. Draw a line across the strip connecting your markings. Then, flip the paper over to the design side and again, mark a quarter inch and connect your marks with a line. Repeat this on all paper strips. Use scissors to cut vertical strips into the paper, stopping at the line. This will give your cuffs fringe. Do this on all pieces. Take your six large strips and apply glue to the quarter inch area you marked on the design side. Flip all eight strips, design down, so that the plain backs are facing up. Starting with the small strip, attach each of the larger strips, glue side down, so that the edge of the paper strip you are gluing sits right along the drawn line of the strip beneath it. Keep adding the two remaining large strips to complete one cuff. Use your fingers to curl the edges of your fringe and give them shape. Pinch one of the paper fringe tassels and thread it through a bell, curling the rest of the paper up to keep it attached. Keep adding bells anywhere you want on your cuff. Repeat the same steps of cutting, gluing, and attaching the bells to the other cuff to create a matching pair. Wrap the cuff around your wrist and mark a line where they overlap.
Unpeel the back of the Velcro dot and attach one on the inside of the cuff and one on the outside. Repeat the same steps for the other cuff to complete this Studio Saturday project. Thanks so much for joining me today. Well, we made some Sound Two Cuffs inspired by Nick Cave. And in two weeks, we'll be continuing our celebration of Black History Month by creating pinwheels inspired by Meshach Gaba. Have a good day. Thanks again for joining us for Studio Saturdays. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell to find out when a new video is uploaded. Have a good day.